A landmark bill that would protect same-sex and interracial marriages is on its way to the House after passing in the Senate. News for Jax reporter Aaron Farrar joins us. And Aaron, the move signals a shift in national politics. Twelve Republicans voted with Democrats to protect same-sex and interracial marriages under federal law. That bill now heads back to the House, which passed its own version of the bill earlier this year. The legislation would not force any state to allow same-sex couples to marry, but it would require them to recognize all marriages that were legal when they were performed. It's a measure of the relief for the hundreds of thousands of same-sex couples who've married since the 2015 Supreme Court decision that legalized gay marriage nationwide. Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer says this legislation was a long time coming. As you know, this is personal to me. In 2020, Right, at the, right after the passing of just, just, Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg, we were at a family dinner, and my daughter and her wife were distraught and asked me, could our marriage be undone? Today, a new day has come for them, in the, and in the new year, they'll be welcoming their first child, my third grandchild, God willing, in a few months. For the sake of our nation today and its survival, we do well by taking this step not embracing or validating each other's devoutly held views, but by the simple act of tolerating them. 47 Republicans joined Democrats in passing a House version of the bill earlier this year. The Senate changed some of the language to clarify it does not infringe on religious freedom. That means it will take another vote before it can go to the president's desk. President Biden has already said he will, quote, promptly and proudly sign the bill if it is passed by the House.